James Clifford Carson, a.k.a. Michael Bear Carson, and Susan Barnes Carson are American serial killers convicted for three murders between 1980. and 1983 in Northern California and the San Francisco Bay Area. In 1977, James was in Phoenix, Arizona when his first wife noticed severe behavioral changes and left with their daughter Jennifer. Carson began a relationship with Susan Barnes, a divorcee with two teenage sons. James and Susan married and became involved in illicit drugs and mysticism. At some point, Carson took the name Michael Bear, telling his daughter in a letter that God had given him the name Michael. Susan became known as Susan Bear. And by 1980, after a year-long trip to Europe, the Carsons returned to the U.S. and moved into the Height ashbury neighborhood of San Francisco, California, where they continued their involvement with drugs and the counterculture. By this time, Michael's former wife had become afraid that he would harm her and try to abduct their child and took steps to hide herself and their daughter from him. She went so far as to move numerous times and cut off contact with mutual acquaintances. In March 1981, Karen Barnes, 23, no relation to Susan, an aspiring actress from Georgia who had been the Carson's roommate in San Francisco, was found dead in their shared apartment. She had been stabbed 13 times and her skull crushed before being wrapped in a blanket and hidden in the basement. Evidence suggested that Karen had been killed by someone she knew and the Carson's became the prime suspects. The Carsons later confessed to killing Karen after Susan had decided Karen was a witch. The Carsons fled to a mountain hideout near Grants Pass, Oregon, where they remained until spring of 1982. They then moved to uh, Alder Point, California, where they lived and worked on a marijuana farm. According to other workers on the farm, the Carsons were anarchists who advocated revolution and predicted that a nuclear apocalypse would soon occur. In May of 1982, Michael shot and killed Clark Stevens, a worker on the farm with whom he had a dispute and attempted to dispose of the body by burning it and burying it under chicken fertilizer in the woods. Two weeks later, Stevens was reported missing to the Humboldt County Sheriff, leading to the discovery of Stevens' burnt remains. Sorry, I was coughing. (laughs) The Carsons, who by this point had fled, were again considered suspects. Upon searching their abandoned belongings, detectives found a manifesto they had written which called for the assassination of then-President Ronald Reagan. However, authorities had difficulty tracking down the Carsons. In November of 1982, Michael was picked up by police in Los Angeles after an acquaintance saw him hitchhiking. However, through a police air, Carson was quickly freed and vanished before Humboldt County detectives had a chance to question him. He left evidence behind, including a mugshot, address information, and a gun left in a police car. The following January, the Carsons were hitchhiking near Bakersfield and were given a ride by John Charles Hellyar, 30, who was driving to Santa Rosa. Susan reportedly decided that Hellyar was a witch and had to be killed. While he was driving on U.S. Route 101 in Sonoma County, an argument and physical fight broke out between Hellyar and the Carsons resulting in the car coming to a stop on River Road. The fight escalated outside the vehicle, and Susan stabbed Hellyar while he and Michael struggled over a gun. Michael gained control of the gun and killed Hellyar in view of passing motorists, one of whom contacted police. A high-speed chase ensued as the Carsons attempted to flee in Hellyar's car, which crashed, and they were both apprehended. The Carsons initially called a press conference to confess to the murders of Hellyar, Stevens, and Barnes. Before trial, they withdrew their confessions and entered pleas of not guilty. On June 12, 1984, the Carsons were convicted first of Barnes' murder and sentenced to 25 years in prison. Later, they were convicted of the murders of Stevens and Hellyar, for which they received sentences of 50 years to life and 75 years to life, respectively. In 1989, the First District Court of Appeal affirmed their third conviction, as it had previously done on the other two convictions. Michael is incarcerated at Mule Creek State Prison, and Susan is incarcerated at Central California a women's facility. They stated that they killed Barnes because they believed she had made a false conversion to their religion and was draining Miss Carson of her health and yogic powers. Their justifications for the second and third killings were that Stevens had allegedly sexually assaulted Susan and that Hellyar had allegedly called her a witch and sexually abused her. From their, com- from their conviction and through their incarceration up to 2015, they have shown no remorse for their crimes. They claim to have traveled through Europe and back in the United States through the American Southwest and parts of California. The couple said they kept a list of targeted individuals, including political figures and celebrities such as Reagan and Johnny Carson. According to Richard D. Reynolds, who wrote a book about the case, the Carsons were suspects in nearly a dozen other deaths in the U.S. and Europe. Wasn't a whole lot of information out there, but that is the case. 
revolving around the San Francisco Witch Killers, a.k.a. Michael and Susan Carson. And um, I hope to have a little bit more of a lengthier segment next week, of course. Um, be sure to subscribe and uh, check out the makeup video below this one. And have a wonderful day, guys. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. As always, please be careful or be cautiously kind to others. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And make good choices. Bye.